<laughs> Hi guys! Hi. Hi. A big, 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 big congrats on Ripley. It's it's an engrossing um, uh, film noir, but it's also a great character study, and I love it. Oh, great! Thank you. <laughs> it's a good story. <laughs> yeah. Good story. Good story. Thank you. What's we gonna do, Mr. Andrew? I'm still mystified, by the way, by all of us strangers. Oh, Fantastic. thank you so much. Yeah. Thank but you. Give us the genesis. What got you interested in playing? This charming, lovable psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you said it in one. Yeah. Um, uh, well, you know, he's a very famous literary character. So obviously I had a sort of knowledge of him before. He's been in many iterations before. So just to join that. But I think what was what, uh, really special was was it got the all the script, which is very unusual. You got the whole eight episodes, eight hours of television. So um, you got a real sense of what um, uh, Steve's alien are director and writer had uh, in mind and it was just extraordinarily written and uh, he had a very very strong vision as to what he wanted to do that seemed to be very original I think everybody all our concerns would be like are you going to remake something and um, and of course you know there's been lots of iterations you know the, the talented Mr. Ripley the, the movie people know and right, love including right. myself and but that was a remake so uh, I think with these very famous beautifully constructed stories you can, they can have very different um points of view and this one is very very different you know right i think yeah. it stays true to patricia high yes it's very it's very yes yeah. very very yeah yeah miss dakota yes fantastic nice to see you again nice to see you too but um give us a dynamic between i mean i love marge Thank she's you. this uh girl a woman who can't be conned right yeah right. Um, yes. 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 give exactly. us a dynamic between your character and ripley um, well, I think the dynamics are just simply put that she just doesn't trust him right from the start. And so um, there's a real kind of cat and mouse between them that you get to see. And um, there's a lot of wonderful scenes where they're saying niceties to each other. Right. But the un what's underneath is that they sort of hope they, you know jump out the window I mean you know yeah. what I mean they really um do I can't not... wait I can't wait for the gifts yeah yeah exactly yeah exactly they're very gift centric yeah. 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 yeah yeah totally um definitely but yeah so I, I loved getting to be a character that sort of didn't believe Tom and wasn't fooled by by Tom and um you know just loved and also loved that she shares a little bit of Tom's qualities as well a little bit you know there's a right. little bit of opportunism in her as well and um so i think maybe that's why they also kind of don't like each other they see something similar in one yeah. another in a weird way mr johnny Hi. by the way i love one life you're amazing oh, in one life as oh, well thank you um but let's talk about the relationship between tom and dickie what's in their heart the heart of their relationship in well, your opinion well we we talked about um a genuine um softness and a kind of they 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 naturally lean in to each other and there's there's something that is brilliantly not articulated it's enigmatic and an attraction um and you and and the way the way that the moments that um Steve chose to kind of highlight those those elements um where Tom pushes too far and Dickie doesn't feel comfortable with it and he can't deal with it like when he's wearing putting his clothes on or you know, Tom says the thing about the guys, the, the acrobats at the beach, and and Dickie decides to kind of, you know, pull rank on what is acceptable behavior or something. But there's, there is something there, and it's something we always talked about, but it's not something that Dickie is prepared to um, articulate. And and in a way, that 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 feels tr tragic yes. to me, and I, I, I really love that, that dimension to their relationship. And they can... You know, and, also, and Dickie has created himself as this bohemian artist in his mind, right? Hilariously, um, <laughs> and, <laughs> um, you know, in the vein of like Hemingway or Gertrude Stein, he's this ex expat, like he's run away to the, you know old world Europe and and run away from his kind of nouveau riche, you know, shipping shipping family, and um, and here's a willing student that turns up and he can tell him about Caravaggio and all this right. stuff. But the truth is, he he's going to understand. The student's going to is going to surpass him, um, or already has already surpassed him before he before he meets him. So it's um, that I think that those those levels are really beautiful. And you know, Dicky, poor Dicky. <laughs> poor Dicky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's he's sweet and he's. Um, and he's potentially quite naive. 
I love that one line when you just mentioned, you know, I'm not queer, you know. I'm like, yeah. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I think that's the beginning of the end. <laughs> Without revealing anything. Yeah. <laughs> now, real quick, Mr. Andrew. Um, Ripley's being premiered, streamed on Netflix on April 4th. What do you hope for people to get after watching the series? Oh, uh, well, I think uh, it's incredibly involving as a story. I mean, Patricia Highsmith is just the uh, queen of, of, yes. of, of compulsive yeah. uh, crime writing. I mean, she, yeah. there isn't, really is nobody better. And I think Steve has just distilled that quality really expertly. So it does really draw you in. And he plays with pace in an extraordinary way. And he focuses in on things that are not normally focused in on mm -hmm. in relation to um, uh, stories of this nature. And also you have these really fascinating, slightly murky characters yeah. um, that you side with sometimes and sometimes yeah. you really don't and so it gives it's it's, it's a very intelligent piece and, and i think you it, question yourself yeah, yeah right yeah. And i think it'll, it'll make the <laughs> audience like, who am i supposed to root for am i rooting for the wrong person yeah. or the right person thank you so much thank you guys you. good luck on everything again thank okay. you so much thank nice you to so see you much. Bye, guys. Nice to see you. bye bye thank you